This book is a love letter to leaders around the world who find themselves having to steer their people through the storm of uncertainty and change. Think industry transitions, power station shutdowns, corporate takeovers, major restructures, funding cuts, government regulations, the impact of natural disasters, pandemics, and a changing climate. You may not have instigated it. You may not be able to control it. You may not even know what it is yet, but change is happening anyway. And you're in the middle of it, the one who must lead people through it. Even though it may not be what you signed up for, it feels like there is no win in it for you or your team, and you're just as uncertain as anyone about what the future will bring. You're outside your comfort zone, can feel the tension rising in yourself and your team, and you're unsure how on earth you're going to lead your people through. Hell, you might not even be sure how you're going to stay afloat. If this sounds like you, take a deep breath. Shake out your arms, roll your shoulders. You're in safe hands. I've written this book for you, the leader who has to navigate the rough seas of change without losing people overboard or sinking the ship. You're responsible for your team adopting or adapting to the change, but you may not be the one leading the change itself. In fact, it's likely you are the piggy in the middle. Your board, boss or the government is driving the change and your people are resistant, fearful and angry. Perhaps you're even resistant, fearful and angry too. You want to yell, don't shoot the messenger every time you have to deliver more change news and you're copying it from above and below. That said, you are a professional. Part of your role as a leader is to not only be the messenger, but to also own the message of change. And even in the face of the challenge change brings, you still need a functioning team. You still have to get the job done, deliver the goals and KPIs, manage performance and behaviour, protect the safety and well-being of your people and get yourself through with your own health and integrity intact. But how do you do that? How do you lead your people through significant change, whether it comes out of left field or is years in the making, and whether you're the one driving it or not? That's what this book is all about, helping you lead yourself and your people through change. Let me be clear. This is not a book about change project management. It's not about processes, policies, procedures and Gantt charts. It's about people and how to steer them through the storm of change to calmer waters safely and pointing in the right direction. Less of the head, more of the heart. It's not an academic book. Rather, it's a practical, plain speak guide to help you navigate your team through the rough waters in a way that steadies the ship and keeps you on course. Many leaders find themselves the bearers of changed news without ever being taught the foundations of how to lead their people through change. They are essentially set up to fail. While the upper echelons of an organisation will often invest in change management support for themselves, there is a gap in support for the middle management, team leader and coordinator level who actually have to get the change across the line. There is also a gap in the advice and support available for those facing change that is not of their own design or is out of their control. It is those gaps that this book seeks to address. I don't need to know the exact change you're going through to teach you the principles that will help you through. This book is about the foundational communication, leadership and people skills you need to support your team through any change, be it big or small. It's about feelings and emotions, but not in a light, fluffy way. It will show you how to work with and respond to the feelings of your people in a way that allows you to influence, motivate and unite your team.